And in Canberra today on another issue, the Treasurer, Chris Bowen, will be addressing the National Press Club. Initially, he was going to be talking about his book on labour reform. Instead, he's going to be talking about the economic transition facing Australia at the end of the China resources boom and undoubtedly will be asked about the changes to fringe benefits tax concessions for salary sacrificed vehicles. With me to look at that and all the other economic issues this morning, the Shadow Treasurer Joe Hockey. Mr Hockey, thanks for your time. The government says it's about the integrity of the, the, the tax system in tidying up the, the uh, treatment of this fringe benefits tax concession. What do you say to that? I say they're telling a great big fib. What a surprise. Uh, the government uh, actually did have a review of fringe benefits tax. Uh, they had a major review under Labor of the tax system. It was called the Henry Tax Review. And the Henry Tax Review recommended changes to fringe benefits tax, which the government implemented uh, in 2011 as an integrity measure. Kieran, this has come out of the blue. It's typical of Kevin Rudd and the Labor Party. Uh, they make it up as they go along and they don't consult with anyone. No one has seen this before. No one has seen these changes before. Uh, there was never a defined crisis in this area in FBT. What's happened is Kevin Rudd, as usual, has made up tax policy on the run. We've seen it do it before in relation to employee share schemes, in relation to Alco Pops, in relation to the mining tax. Now they're doing it on fringe benefits tax. It's going to hurt people on $50,000, $70,000 a year the most, it's going to have a massive impact on the motor vehicle industry and it's going to create uh, mayhem uh, in, in manufacturing and in uh, uh, motor vehicle retail as the truth about this unfolds. Mr Hockey, isn't, if people are using this fringe benefit tax concession appropriately, it's not too much to ask them, though, to, to fill out their log for the, their log books for 12 mm. weeks over five years. It's, well, it's only three months over five years. How do you know they're not using years? it appropriately? How, how do you know? I don't know. And I call on the Treasurer today to immediately release all the data that actually uh, proves the case the government is trying to make. Let's get it out there. Let's get the Treasury data out there. Let's get the ABS data out there. Because the government is making it up as they go along, Kieran. This is not acceptable public policy. It's bad for the economy. It's bad for the manufacturing industry. It's bad for workers in the charity industry and nurses and teachers on fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year. And what's happened is because the government asserts that there's rorting, some people just accept that. Well, where is the proof? Where was the inquiry? Where were the revelations from the tax office saying that there is $1.8 billion of rorting? Where, you're where referring to the average information? You're referring where, where, to av average workers there, though, the government saying two thirds of those on these packages earn more than $100,000 a year. And, and they're wrong. They're dead wrong, Kieran, because if you actually look at the data that has been mined by the salary packaging companies, they admit that most of the workers are in fact under eighty dollars to $100,000 a year. Most of them are under. So Anthony Albanese runs this class war about it being BMWs. The salary packaging is Commodores and Falcons and Toyota Camrys for nurses and teachers and charity workers. And what the Labor Party doesn't get is that you can't make up policy on the run. Look, Kevin Rudd is yet again a complete unmitigated catastrophe. He can't stop the boats. He makes up tax policy on the, road, on the run. Uh, you've got the deficit and debt deteriorating. This is Kevin Rudd and the way he governs. And he's running around pretending to be Kevin Kardashian. You know, the, celeb the great celebrity. He can wear a monkey suit for all I care. The bottom line is the country is not being governed properly. Will, will the opposition revoke the changes? Or will you oppose them? We, we will have more to say about this in the next 24 hours because we are very concerned about the growing impact of this decision. We are getting feedback from car uh, manufacturing companies and from car dealers that orders have ground to a halt in relation to fleet sales and salary packaging. Now that can make up 40 to 50 per cent of the car sales for Australian manufactured vehicles. And we're getting very alarming feedback from car dealers, from a range of others. And we'll be continuing our dialogue with those people. But I'd say to you, Kieran, we are not going to be party to policy on the run from Kevin Rudd. Poorly thought through policy. 
It's the same old Kevin Rudd, the same old Labor Party. They just don't get it. They don't get the it. Government, apparently the government, the Treasurer, is planning a major economic statement, an update on the economy before the election. You'd welcome that in the interests of transparency? Uh, we'll get rid of the spin and give us the facts. Let's have the true facts on the state of the budget. Uh, and, and look, Chris Bowen and Kevin Rudd, they can have all the speeches and spins and appearances at the National Press Club they want, Kieran. The bottom line is this. Show us the real numbers that you've been briefed on on the state of the budget. Show us the real numbers that actually underpin the tax policy on the run. Show us the real numbers on the changes from the carbon tax to the emissions trading scheme. And you know what, Kieran? Whenever the real numbers come out, all the words that come out of Labor are shown to be meaningless. Meaningless. It's all smoke and mirrors from Kevin Rudd, Chris Bowen, the whole lot of them. They're all a joke. And what we're finding is that as the facts come out, as the real impact of their incompetent decision making comes through, you can see the negative impact on the economy, on families, you can see the negative impact on, on those most vulnerable in the community. Mr Hockey, I know you've got to get to the airport. I appreciate your time. Thanks. Thanks very much, Kieran. Nina, Michael, back to you in the